Hello Scorpio and welcome. I'm Adriana. I'm a soul guidance coach. I help you choose growth and the healing of your inner roots. I have an intuitive message for you today about your journey. This is a little different than my other reading. So if you are returning to this channel, it's going to be a little different. We've got cards represent you, daughter of arrows, energy that moves you forward on your path, the Hierophant, energy that holds you back, or maybe pulling at you backwards, two of cups, union. Okay. All right, very interesting body language going on with our cards here. We've got the sloth whose body is facing forward, but the head is looking back. Okay, so we're going to start with that idea, Scorpio. When you are looking back at this particular union, partnership, friendship, relationship, when your head is preoccupied with looking back, that prevents you from moving forward. And I know that just sounded really trite and simple, but it's not because the thing is your whole body, including your heart, the heart of that sloth, everyone wants to move forward. And when I say everyone, I mean all your different parts of your body. Uh, yeah, just, you know, assuming everyone has many personalities, right? Okay, let me get serious again. Your heart, your soul, because soul is in the solar plexus, and your roots, your foundation, everything else wants you to move forward. But the head thinks it needs to look back at the past, at this partnership. It's as if the head thinks that looking back, will, that idea of looking back will somehow change the partnership for what it was when it was what it was, right? Now let's look at the Hierophant. The Hierophant is an interesting energy to get here. Because this card talks about many paths leading to the truth. There are many ways to commune with the divine. There are many ways to get there, right? Um, we've got religious symbols and religious traditions, and I don't personally think that religion is the only path to spirituality, um, to connecting with source, but for some people it is. But the bigger idea here is that there are many paths to reach the divine. There are many paths to reach communion. There are many paths to reach self, um, to reach the love of self that connects you with that universal love of everything. What your head believes is that the only way is through relationship. Your, the only way is through either relationship or that relationship. It doesn't think there are other ways to get up there. And that's just a thought, right? So when you entertain the thought that there are many ways to get to where you want that state of wholeness, that state of bliss, that state of intimacy, there are many ways to get there. There are many different ways to get there. And they are all valid. They're all on the same page, even though they're not on the same page, you know, because they're going to the same place, it kind of makes it the same page. So this energy can also help you because the daughter of arrows is a detaching kind of energy that pulls away and says, okay, no, <laughs> I'm not part of that anymore. So this energy can help you detach from the, that attachment to the past, understanding that we're going a different route. I also feel like this Hierophant card is asking you to step out and expand your wisdom of self. There's something about looking beyond the personal experience, looking beyond your personal experience to experience the truth. I'm going to expand this story out a little bit because I'm not quite getting enough clarity here. Father of arrows and daughter of roots. Okay, I'm going to do one more. All right, that's making a little more sense. 
because of a relationship with a father type energy, and this doesn't literally have to be a father, it doesn't even have to be a male, but it's an energy that was in control, was at the head, saw things very black and white, not emotionally there, emotionally unconnected, and not caring about how other people feel or how other people think. This person doesn't care about connections. They just care about being right, having their own opinion known, and having their will followed. It's like, I show you the truth. I show you the one way. And in the past, you know, this sweet little daughter of roots has been trying to understand and trying to acquiesce to this energy. You know, I'm, I don't really think that's me is what she says, but I'm going to see if I can follow it. I'm going to try to learn it. And then the lover's card comes in saying that, okay, we have a choice. You can choose something different. You can choose part of that truth that made sense, but you could also blend it with your own truth. So it's about creating your own truth, and that's where you're going with this card. So I know I said before we were going beyond the personal experience. This is going on beyond, but it's also going into the personal experience, because when you go into that personal experience and you figure out a new belief system, a new worldview, or a new perception for yourself, that actually does go beyond the self. It goes out of the subjective experience and it makes it more objective because you're creating your own system. This is really, I think, where it's possible that systematic or organized religion can let down the individual if it doesn't provide the individual with enough creative freedom to make your own path. And I don't want to turn this into a yes or no or good or bad organized religion, but what we can take from this is that you're being asked to create your own truth and to create your own path much different than what you have learned in the past, much different than where you have thought you needed to be in the past. And although you may be feeling like, you know, I do what I want, I, I do what I think I need to do, it's a little complicated, Scorpio, because your relationship with this father of arrows energy right here has caused you to look for a certain type of union, a certain type of relationship. And that relationship hasn't really helped you go forward the way you wanted to go. So this is about understanding that you have a different choice, that you can actually come together with your own truth and harmonize your truth together. I'm gonna to draw one more card. And it is harmonizing that truth together that brings you the Nine of Cups, the true fulfillment. All right, so we're kind of back to where we were. This relationship won't bring you the fulfillment you're looking for, it's the harmonizing the creation, the birthing of your specific truth and the truth about your path and what you have actually learned that will bring you fulfillment and joy. Okay, so it's the way of the self, but transverse in a way that's kind of impersonal. It probably doesn't make sense <laughs> out in the world. It makes sense in here. Let me see if my guides want me to put it, um, let me ask for help putting it in another way. It's about the sacredness of the personal experience. The understanding that this process of creating your own way forward and creating your path and your truth based on what you truly value and what you truly love, there's a sacredness in that. Even if it doesn't feel like some kind of blinding flash from the other side or you don't get a million synchronicities, there's a sacredness in that and there's an honoring in the choice before the commitment. There's an honoring of the choice before the commitment. I just want to say that again. Okay. 
All right, Scorpio, that was a lovely reading. Thank you so much for sharing your journey and your time with me. So I know that you are already a seeker because you're here, but if you are curious yourself or you know of someone else who's maybe awakening or just starting on their journey, um, I would ask you to have them check out my website, soulguidancewithadriana.com or check out the description below. There's more information there. I'll look forward to seeing you next time, Scorpio. Have a good one.